and welcome to the best of Wisconsin restaurants. I am here with Kelly at The Pearl in downtown La Crosse. Kelly, how are you? Good, how are you? Thank you, thank you for having me here today. Um, tell our viewers about our location. Where are we at today? We are downtown La Crosse, Wisconsin in the historic downtown La Crosse yeah. at The Pearl. And it's easy to know where The Pearl is because it's on Pearl Street. And all you gotta do is drive down Pearl Street by the La Crosse Center and see all the beautiful signs outside and all the nostalgic looking uh, memorabilia and the windows and you know you are in a place that you definitely want to come to. So, yes. all right, I am really excited because when I reached out to you guys to say, hey, what are we gonna talk about on this segment? You guys said, Banana, banana split. split. So banana split today is what we were talking about. Before yeah. we get into actually getting after the banana split, you've got a little bit of history that you can share about the banana split. I do, yeah. So the banana split was invented only in 1904. Wow. Yeah, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, and at the time, bananas were a newer import. Okay. And so ice cream parlors were starting to get inventive and put them on their sundaes and that's how the banana split was created. I mean, it is absolutely timeless and classic. Yes. All right, so let's get into the action here. Let's yeah. make a banana split here from the pearl. Okay. We've got a good old banana. Yep, we're gonna start with our banana. So we're gonna split it down the center. So then we'll take the peel off. Put the banana in the dish. Okay, and then next comes the ice cream. Okay, and now, yeah, tell me about the ice cream. Yeah, so the ice cream combination is called the Neapolitan combination. Okay. It's chocolate ice cream, strawberry ice cream, and vanilla. So strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. Yep. Never knew that, because when I make it at home, it's straight vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. <laughs> so it's the Neapolitan of chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. Yep, that's the classic banana split. Okay. All right. Learning something already. Like, even this is so, so, so simple. Never even thought of leaving the peeling on when I cut it and then unpeeling. I always unpeel it and then cut it and it like slippery and it's messy on my hands. It, uh, it gets messy. Yeah, right. <laughs> We got chocolate. Chocolate, vanilla next. All of your ice cream is made in house. Yes, it is all homemade. All homemade. In our kitchen. All homemade in your kitchen. So I'm definitely gonna wanna hear about this because I understand that it is quite a process. Okay. Look at how beautiful that is. So it all starts with Wisconsin dairy. Okay, so no, no California dairy here. Nope. No, 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 it's Wisconsin dairy. Okay. Yes, yep. Um, so then we have our cream and we have a small batch freezer okay. that we use to actually make the ice cream. Okay. Um, so we'll start with the cream, pour it in the machine, add ingredients accordingly. Yeah. And, and as we're drawing it out, we'll add ingredients too, okay. if need be. Right. And then after it's, that, there's work to like clean right, up right, and all right, that. Right. So um, usually the ice cream maker is here for eight hours a day. Wow. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. And okay. in the summer, it's uh, seven days a week. Oh, I bet. I bet. I can't wait for the summer part. All right, let's, yeah. let's keep on going. So we've got the banana. We've got the Neapolitan homemade in-house ice cream, mm -hmm. Wisconsin dairy. <gasps> what next? So now comes the toppings. Okay. So on the chocolate ice cream, we're going to put chocolate syrup. Okay. Okay, and on the vanilla ice cream, we're going to put pineapple. I never knew. Chocolate on the chocolate, pineapple on the vanilla. Okay. Yep. And, and on the strawberry is nuts? Strawberries on the strawberry, oh. yep. Of course, right? Of course. Of course. Okay. And then a classic banana split gets peanuts too. Peanuts, okay. So then we get the nuts on top, the peanuts. 
And is that it? We got, we got it right? Ready? Not quite. What? There's still more? There's still okay. more. Yep. Every banana um, split is not oh, easy without whipped cream and a cherry. The whipped cream, <laughs> of course. And we put three dollops of whipped cream and a cherry to top it off. And a cherry to top this off. Oh my gosh. And there you oh. have it. Look. Look at that. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this is, Steve. Oh my God. Now this is, this is not how I make it at home. <laughs> this is beautiful right here. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Kelly. So Absolutely. if I wanted to get, if I wanted to get this amazing looking food, where can I get it? At the Pearl. At the Pearl. Yep, you can come on down to the Pearl and get a classic banana split for only six seventy-five. Wow. You can. It makes a great shareable dessert, or you can eat it all by yourself too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna <laughs> eat this one all by myself. <laughs> but yes, you can share this. This is this is great. Thank you very much, Kelly. I yes. appreciate this. I, you know what? Do we have a spoon? Yeah. Do we have a spoon. I wanna. I wanna have a little bit of this, or maybe we'll eat. Oh, I thought we'd have to do it during the break. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little strawberry on strawberry whipped cream. Mm. That is delicious. Vanilla, vanilla with the pineapple. Mm -hmm. mm. After the shoot, I'm gonna be like eating all this. This is delicious. <laughs> thank you very much, Kelly. And thank for you. For making us a classic banana split here at the Pearl. Folks, we will have more Best of Wisconsin restaurants, minus this, because I'm gonna eat it, when we come right back. <laughs>